Hey everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video, we are going to be doing a wig transformation, you guys. So we're going to take this basic, basic 613 wig and transform it into this. I promise you, this is the easiest tutorial ever. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this color, then please continue to watch. The wig that I'm rocking, it's from Yola Sahara and it is a pre-made wig, so that means Yes, my cat just casually walks by like he owns a place. But yeah, this is the wig and this is it straight out the box. I love the hairline on this wig because it doesn't require a lot of work. And guys, I'm going to be using box dye today. So I'm using the Ion Intensive Shine Darkest Bronze. It's actually one of my favorite box dyes. I don't really use a lot of box dyes, but I love this one. All right, so let's move on to color in this wig. So I'm gonna put my wig into a ponytail. You can add like four sections if you wanna make your life a lot easier. So I have my wig on the mannequin head and if you look at the lace, if you look real closely, I have some Vaseline protecting my lace. So that's what I use to protect my lace all the time when I do these hair videos. So I'm gonna go in with the dye and start applying it into small sections on the hair. Now, I've already mixed it all together and the dye, it's pretty easy to follow. It's a box dye, it comes with instructions, so it's super, super easy. And I'm only using one color, so it's not complicated. And you guys, one thing I will say, I actually end up using like four box dyes. So I actually bought three and then I had to run to Sally's to go get another one to apply it all over the wig because I was running really, really low. And just to give you an idea, the density on this wig is about 180 and it was a 26 inches. Um, I feel like it looked a lot longer than 26 inches, but then again, I'm not very tall. So that's probably why it looked really long on me. So I'm just applying the hair color all over the wig. When I get to the very top, try not to be too heavy handed because even though I applied the Vaseline to the lace, sometimes the dye can go through on the lace and we don't wanna make the knots all dark and stain the lace because that's just not good so I'm just gonna leave this on for about 40 minutes I think that's what it says and I washed it out off camera and this is the result I did not use any shampoo or conditioner I just washed it out with water and this is how she's looking whenever I use box dyes I find that it leaves my wigs feeling dry and crunchy I've done a few box dyes before but this one is actually my favorite my favorite it actually leaves the wig feeling soft so that's a good thing and I just popped that wig on my head just to see how it lines up with my wig cap and I did the ball cap method I have a very detailed video on how I do my ball cap as well so I'll link that video in the description bar down below so I'm just lining up that wig and see how it looks so everything is looking good now I actually pre plucked the wig off camera because you guys see me tweeze my wig before and this wig did not require too much tweezing because the hairline on it was actually pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with my scissors now and just cut off the little area right by the ear because I don't need all that lace anymore so we're just gonna get rid of that. And as for the application, I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut small sections of the lace. Some people just cut off all the lace and then apply the wig, but I just cannot do it like that. I feel like I always mess up my wig when I do it like that. So I like to just cut small sections and apply the glue in small sections as well. So I'm applying the Bold Hold Lace Glue. Use a skin protector when you apply your glue and that will protect your skin from the glue as well so i apply two layers of glue i wait for the glue to dry clear and then i apply another layer and i'm using my little um eyebrow razor you can use a rat tail comb i'm just i just didn't know where mine was so that's what i'm doing now you want to go in with the blow dry just to speed things up a bit and i'm using the blow dryer on a cool setting and then i'm going to pull down that lace and just melt it down now as you can see guys this lace is matching my skin perfectly so before it was actually just a transparent lace and it was just white so this is not a HD lace you can get a great melt with transparent lace as well so I find that this lace actually melted down pretty good now when it comes to transparent lace I don't like uh, using makeup powder on my lace or foundation I prefer to just tint the lace and I use the lace tint by Wigurus to tint it as you can see, I'm going in with my scissors and my eyebrow razor. I find that with the scissors, you can get a little bit closer to the actual uh, hairline by the lace and the eyebrow razor works well as well, but you just gotta be very careful with it because you don't wanna cut yourself and it's happened to me a few times. 
I'm just going in with my rat tail comb just to melt down that lace you guys guys are you seeing how melted this lace looks though like this is transparent lace this is not HD she is melted so I'm gonna do the same thing to the side as well I'm gonna apply the lace glue and I'm gonna apply two layers and go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting and just wait for it to dry clear and then pull down that lace and I'm just gonna go in with the blow dryer like I did before just to melt down that lace. And you guys, if you are a beginner and you think I'm going a little bit too fast, well, I do have a very, very detailed video on how to apply your wig and get really flawless, natural results. So I will link one of those videos in the description bar down below. So we're just gonna move on now. So my wig is on. Hi, baby. Margo wants to say hi, guys. She's getting so big. Guys, I swear every time I change my wig, Margo looks at me and smile even harder like, what? She got new hairdo? <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. So I'm going to go in with my hot comb. Wait, before I go in my hot comb, let me just try and get this center part correct. Because why is it such a struggle for me to do a center part? Especially when I do it on camera. In person, I'm like, oh yes, we are lined up. We're looking perfect. And then I look at my monitor and I'm like, mm, we're not lined up here. No. So I'm going to go in with my hot comb now. And I'm just going to flatten that wig so, so she's not sitting on my head and looking like a floating hat. Because that's never cute. That No, we're not doing that over here. We want our wig to be flat. Flat. Okay? Now I'm going to go in with my tube brush, you can use an edge brush as well, and I'm going to go in with a little bit of mousse and I'm going to apply to the brush. So I don't use a lot of mousse, I used to use a lot back in the day, I say back in the day like it was that long ago, maybe like a year ago, but now I use such a small amount and I apply to the hairline. We're going to give that hairline that nice melted down look and you guys we're not gonna be doing any baby hairs whatsoever because i think this hairline looks good enough we don't need baby hairs so i'm just using a old pair of pantyhose to tie down my wig and i left this on for about like 10 minutes and then i'm going to take it off so this is pretty much the completed look this is how our wig is looking she is melted i'm living for this hair color comment down below let me know what you guys think of it and this is how it looks from the back as well and you guys just so you know with this hair dye i find that the color it does fade when you wash it i personally don't mind the fade i think it looks really really good when it's faded as well so yeah i will see you guys in another video very very soon i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up if you do comment down below Below. let me know what you guys want to see next i love you guys so much and thank you for watching and supporting my channel bye